Hey guys, Chris, the Thrift Shop Hustler. I wanted to make this video today uh, to show you guys, even though I've been reselling for almost 30 years, I still make newbie mistakes. And some of you might have saw the video that I picked this whole box up of LED light bulbs. They're specialty light bulbs. I'll leave a link to uh, the that video up here. You can watch it. And basically, I got this whole box. There were it was a dollar, so I grabbed it really quick. Um, these were specialty light bulbs. I scanned the bottom. They were showing eleven ninety nine on eBay so I was stoked I opened them up you know I looked at them you know I didn't really pull them out but I mean I looked at them they looked new and I didn't think anything of it you know when I went home lo and behold when I went to go list these you see this this is what the, it's supposed to look like and I didn't even realize it but this that I bought each one of these boxes is a whole different thing it is um, like a Chinese knockoff of this particular light and as you can see I'm gonna post this au the auction of these ones up these are like two dollars each now you might say to yourself okay well I guess you didn't really get screwed but in a way I thought like I was getting this and it was just a common mistake that you know it should have looked like this this white casing with this dome and I just saw the silver I looked it up I'm like oh that's cool you know and I looked at them and she said a dollar so I grabbed the whole box not thinking uh, because I've, I've you know and I thought like oh I'm gonna make like a hundred dollars on this box which you know that kind of markup has happened before uh, one of the first things I ever sold on Amazon was uh, a piece of, of computer equipment, like a router, a sealed router that I picked up for $2 at a yard sale and sold for $150. So I thought, like, no problem. Got home, went to list these, was like, wait a minute. This isn't even what is is in these boxes. They're these. So I really wanted to make this video to be like, you know what? Even veterans like myself make the most stupidest mistakes and luckily these all worked and I'm gonna show you guys a little tip because I believe in giving you guys value with these videos all you need to do is get a 9 volt battery and these are for the 12 volt ones 12 volt LEDs you don't want to do this test on like a little LED that's 3 volts you'll burn them out you just there's two prongs and you just basically put the prongs on there and that's how you test them to see if they work it's that simple you can use a voltmeter also we won't get into that but you know basically just wanted to make this video to let you guys know you know always be aware even if someone's like a dollar for this whole box which I, I could probably still get twenty dollars for this box uh, because I tested these all and they all work but you know it's just my rookie mistake by just you know scanning it and then kind of just opening it up and looking in it and not even realizing that you know these aren't even what it's shown so I hope you guys are having a great Sunday please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you've ever done some one of these mistakes before I mean I do this every once in a while she said a dollar for the whole box I was just like sold you know it could be could have been worse these could have all been broken and not have been working so luckily these work so that's a good thing so I can still probably sell these but anyways guys thanks for the, all, the, all the love and support please subscribe and we'll talk to you soon